Hey guys, it's Rack, and welcome back to more Minefields. Uh, last episode was super successful. We pranked Goon. Uh, it got really good response from the episode, which I'm really happy about because the prank took a long time. It was really fun, and Goon's reaction, if you haven't checked out his video, go check it out. It was hilarious. He did a great job. I somehow timed logging back in exactly at the right time, like exactly when he got to his house it was 100 percent not planned i had no idea that he was there like it was just it was just actually 100 percent coincidence and uh he did an awesome job with that but uh today it's not a surprise because i've seen it already but first and foremost our sale is over the balloon is coming down uh oh i'm stuck in the stake all right first and foremost we're taking down the stake it was hilarious but the stake's coming down so we're gonna do that, and then I'm gonna show you. Uh, if you may remember, you know, if you, if you remember from the end of the last episode, um, we kind of trapped Ollie in the spawner room with an epic ton of skeletons and things, you know, zombies and stuff. And uh, apparently, he was okay, but we've saddened him just a bit. So I'll show you that in a second. Let me just. God, this stake is so big. I did this wrong. I should have gone from the top down instead of digging my way up through it. All right, let's get smarter. Guys, this is called working smarter, not harder. You'll enjoy that for, you know, working life. You want to work smarter, not harder. Just because you do a lot of work, if you do it inefficiently, it doesn't make a difference. It's not smart. We should have gone to the top and worked our way down this whole time. What were we thinking? So let's get this prank down. We can actually use this wood for what we're gonna do today. Oh, I fell. Oh, that was my house. All right, I'll have to fix that. We get inside. La la la. Almost done. Beautiful. We can reach the top now. Uh, chicken farm is full effect. It was just actually in there for a bit, gathering up some more eggs, which is awesome. I could use this wood. Thank you, Nalibis. Unless you stole it from me, in which case you're a jerk. But uh, I don't think so, because I don't think I had this much. Uh, spruce wood so let's go in the house as you can see I'll show you what that is in just a moment go up to the roof fix our little dent that I've put in the roof and let's go down and see so this is from Oliver this is what you get for leaving your diamonds AFI away from inventory as you remember I've sold him forget this is what you get for being AFK in the double chest Rack, you're gonna be a bit angry when you come back on the server. Sorry, I had to do it, and now I'm gonna sit and laugh whilst you wait for whilst I wait for you to cry and take a large bath filled with all your diamonds. If you want them back, I expect a formal apology for enclosing me. Love, Ollie. So this is what Oliver did. So he wants a formal apology for trapping him in. So I've decided that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna give him a formal apology, even though I don't know. This looks like 50 diamonds to me. I checked my secret stash. Diamonds are still there. So he must have taken like the few diamonds that I have in here in this chest. But this is my decoy chest. I don't really keep anything that I really need in there. But we won't tell him because he's on vacation. But instead, let's head over to Oliver's house and we'll apologize for our little prank. Because we're nothing if not gentlemen. I'm a gentleman. I, I you know, if I, if I heard, what the heck? Who let you in here? You can't come in here. Right, we're, you're not allowed in here. This is this is a no zombie territory. All right, I'm gonna die. I was gonna take you somewhere, but ain't nobody got time for that. All right, let's head over to Ollie. And this is the kind of spur of the moment. I saw this, decided what I was gonna do. So this is one of the few pranks, and it's not a prank, but one of the few like reactions and stuff that I have, where I've really put, you know, really spur of the moment. Not something that I had totally planned out like I usually do. I wonder if Oliver's even really searched out this cave. It's kind of even blocked off. I wonder, I wonder if he really spent any time on it. Ah, I see he put the second layer of stairs in, which is good, because now he can fit a horse down here, which is awesome. And we're in Oliver's place. He still has so many chickens here. Maybe we'll kill some chickens afterwards. So as you may have seen in his one, his last video, he actually built the second one of these little villages down here. He started to carpet it, very pretty. 
Um, he's done some really good work on his villa up at the top there. Maybe we'll go take a peek at the end. But for now, Oliver wants a formal apology. So let's give him a formal apology. Let's use the... I, don't, I didn't bring any dirt, which was stupid. So let's use the spruce wood as our as our you know, building blocks, you know, just to get up to the right level. And we'll use our jungle planks as our actual building blocks for the day. So we're gonna write him in nice big letters, I'm sorry. I have no idea how big this is supposed to be. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's make it seven. So one, two, three, there's the middle. Um, I really didn't think this out, so I have no idea size-wise. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to make all the letters. Like, M is kind of funky. Let's do that. And because we have ender pearls, like, it's gonna be so much easier than we were building the Nalba statue. <laughs> I didn't even build it high enough. Uh, let's do this. Come on, pro. No. By the way, if you're wondering why I'm not taking any damage, because I have awesome feather falling boots. All right, a little bit better throw. No, really? Oh my god. Apparently I suck at Ender Pearl, so we're gonna have to take it from a really I know the zombies track from a miles and miles and miles. At this base we're gonna run at Ender Pearl, so we're gonna go. Do it the smart way with the ender pearl. We're gonna come from the right angle. We're gonna throw it in. Apparently, I'm gonna miss. Uh, there we. Really? 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 We're gonna play that game? All right. I guess we're playing that game. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Don't believe it. Not even with my own eyes. Oh my god! The zombies! I pissed off the zombies. Hello, baby zombie. Hello, little zombie. Hello, big zombie. What? Hello. Hello. Oh, you're holding an egg. How cute. You're going to hatch your own little baby zombie? Oh, so... The, the arrows are just bouncing off them. Alright. Let's get our bearings. Everything going. I'm feeling a little disheveled right now. So what we're actually going to do is I'm going to build myself a platform just across to give me a basis of, of bearings. And then I'm going to go down. I'm going to kill that guy in the chainmail holding the, the shovel. And yeah, we're going to be in good shape. So let me just, I'm going to build this whole way across. 23 more blocks. I know that this is a uh, video is going to be, there's going to be a little bit of repetitiveness. Um, so instead of just fast forwarding and cutting a lot I figured we could do story time uh, because we haven't had story time in a while and I miss story time and uh, because you know it's just been, it's been a lot of excitement going on there hasn't been an opportunity for us to really you know bond over story time so let's let's do a little story time today um, so let's talk about let's see what do we want to talk about today um, I'm actually going to bring up some of the old topics that the other guys have talked about before. Nalbus, if you know, he talked about his work experiences. Because apparently in Australia, when you're a high school kid, you go and you do like a work experience program. Um, probably like your senior or junior year. Um, and actually my high school had a similar program. Uh, it was in our senior years of high school, mind you. Seems crazy, but it makes me feel really, really old because that was a long time ago for me. Um, during our senior year of high school, uh, every senior did also a similar work experience type deal. And uh, what I did for the first, it's supposed to be for the last like three or four months. Okay, that's actually an M. It's smaller than the I, so maybe I'll shorten the I. But that's pretty good, considering I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, so the first three or four months of work experience, I worked for a law firm. Um, and 
I thought it would be really cool. It's a law firm. They had, you know, they did a whole bunch of different kinds of cases. Um, but what I ended up doing, I was actually working with my with a good friend of mine at the time. Uh, what we ended up doing was we were in the file room, literally looking through cases from the 1940s, 50s, and 60s. Uh, they were asbestos cases. The law firm that I dealt with did a lot of asbestos work. And we literally were pulling out certain forms from the 60s, 40s, 50s, and 60s, finding them, stapling them, uh, finding them in these files, photocopying them, stapling the photocopies together, and then putting them back. And I did this every day for about a month and a half, maybe two months, before we pretty much went to the person that was in charge of the program and said, either we're gonna do some like really interesting law stuff, or we're out because that's just ridiculous. I understand that you have your free interns and that is something you need to do, but we weren't there because we were looking for like job experience. We were there to learn about being lawyers and stuff, and that was all we did. So we were like, we dreaded it every day. We went in there, we're like, I don't wanna go to work experience, it's stupid. So in the end, after about two months, we left our, our work experience. And uh, I went and then, and I worked for a day camp helping with their programming, uh, which was at least a little bit better. And my friend, somehow, he ended up babysitting for a, one of our other friend's sister's kids. And somehow that counted as his work experience. And he got credit for work experience. I have no idea how we pulled it off, but that was the first job, other than being a camp counselor, which I did for many, many years, and I loved, that I ever really had. So. That's my, that was my work experience experience. Not quite as fun as now this is working at a radio station, which I think is really awesome. Especially, you know, after doing some work here, like I'm, you know, like, you know, making videos, like it's not the same as radio, but it's still like, you know, some of the same basic skills. You need to be able to talk to an audience. You have to be comfortable talking to, you know, strangers. You sort of always have to know what you're gonna say in this, wow. Uh, this R is abysmal. Okay, let's see if this is better if I, uh, no, 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 I don't think it's gonna be good at all, but we can pretend. So, so yeah, so like, wow, 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 wow. So, yeah, so I think now this is work experience was like pretty awesome, all things considered. And, uh, I'm a little bit jealous because mine was not as good. <laughs> I don't really know how to say that nicely. Oh, I don't think that's a very good R. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, I think we're gonna go down. To the, down there, we're gonna take a look at how bad it is, and we're gonna figure out a way to... <laughs> oh, that's, 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 wow. Just, wow. Okay, so I think what I wanna do is I wanna actually make uh, a crafting bench, and I'm gonna actually make some stairs, because I think I could use some stairs on this build. So let's just make one of these 64 planks. There we go. 40 stairs. That should be enough. Okay. So, yeah. So, so my work experience was way, way, way less fun than Nalbus's. So, after... Uh, then, while, while I was in college, I did a little bit of work for my uncle. My uncle is a lawyer. Uh, he works uh, landlord-tenant law. Um, and he works in the South Bronx... I mean, you know, if you know New York, uh, he, so the South Bronx is, you know, a little bit of an interesting area is the way I'm going to put it, because, yeah, that's the, <laughs> uh, that's the way I'm going to put it. Uh, so I actually worked with him for, for quite a while on and off when I was free, when I had some time uh, taking, you know, depositions and, you know, and, and, you know, statements from, from, from uh, tenants of, you know, in law firms that were, or not law firms, uh, like of uh, buildings that were, on, you know, weren't paying their bills or were unhappy with their living situations and all sorts of stuff regarding landlord, landlord and tenant law. So that was actually a lot. Of, I actually liked that job a lot, and that experience, which was to me was just, uh, you know, I thought like, oh, bonus experience working for my uncle, actually almost landed me, or, or actually did land me a job that I actually didn't end up taking. 
um, but that I was actually interested in working for a real estate firm in the law department. Uh, it was something a little, you know unexpected, but uh, yeah, that was that was actually really really fun job. Let's see if that R looks better. I don't think so, but we we'll take a look. Let's go down. Um, it's better, but it's not great. I think I know what I'm going to do. All right, let's take that down. Put that over there. No, 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 wrong way. Maybe this will work. Let's see if that works. Oh, we're almost out of ender balls. That's not good. I like that better. It's not the best R in the world, and I don't. I'm gonna have to duplicate it now again. But uh, yeah, let, let's try that. Let's try that R. And let's eat so I don't die. Yeah. So that was that was probably other than camp and my, that work experience. That was like, I guess that really was sort of my first job. Um. After that, I started working in a steakhouse an upscale steakhouse um, it was actually my wife who was not yet my wife at the time uh, we were she had just moved out to the East Coast she's originally from San Francisco um, and I'm from you know, New York New Jersey uh, she just moved out here and she had been a server back in California for a long time and we were both looking for work and uh, someone that uh, for the, that I grew up with he's a little bit older than me but living in my neighborhood he had just opened up an upscale steakhouse pretty close to where we lived and we both needed jobs so we actually went on the same day interviewed for you know serving positions in this upscale restaurant and uh, while you know I didn't have a lot of experience serving before you know I, I'd worked for a caterer on and off in, like as a you know 14 15 year old I was like a run, food runner for a caterer so I, I had a little bit of food experience um, nothing significant but, uh, but yeah, but, but her experience and their lack of staff pretty much got us jobs. And uh, the restaurant actually started out. We uh, it actually used, it's very successful now. Um, and yeah, and that was where I worked on and off for about two years, uh, which was actually really, really good experience for me. Um, I ended up managing for a bit. And uh but yeah, but eventually, you know, the hours were really tough because I was working, you know, for when I was serving, I was there from 4.30 till, you know, midnight, one in the morning. And then when I was doing the other managing stuff, even I was there even later. So it became a little, a little much for me. So uh, I actually left the restaurant, you know, while taking some classes. And, uh, and then uh, I got this job that I have now, which is, a, you know, a full-time regular hours position uh, of working for a... I'm like a, uh, I'm a sales, I'm pretty much a sales coordinator for my, for a, for a ink and toner wholesaler. And uh, yes, I've actually, I actually like what I do. Um, it's challenging at times because I deal with a very eccentric customer base. <laughs> and uh, I don't know if you guys have dealt with eccentric customer bases, but they can try your patience. Uh, that's, you know, that's, you know, without saying. So, uh, but yeah, but uh, and that is why something's something's wrong with it. Yeah, that that piece is just that's not supposed to be there. But yeah, I actually like that line. So uh, let's head down. Let's see. Let's see what our I'm sorry looks like, even though it's our less. I like it. I like it. But it's not personal enough. So we're gonna do the next part of our plan. Do I have my crafting table? I do. So yeah. So, so that was that was pretty much my work experiences um, up to today. Um, it, it, it sounds much less impressive when I break it down into like a 10 minute talk about what I've done. Uh, some of the jobs, you know, did get decently expansive on what I was doing. You know, let's go get some ender balls. Let's see if Ollie has any in his house. Yeah, but that was, that was my work experience. Um, I would eventually like to open up my own place of some sort. Uh, not necessarily toner, which is what I'm doing now, even though I've really gained a lot of experience really of experience but you know 
something using these skills from all the different jobs that I've had. Yeah, no, I have no idea where he would keep Ender Balls. Literally no idea. So let's check everything. Let's see if we can find my secret diamond stash. It's gotta be somewhere, right? No, I'm not really gonna look for the diamond stash. I'm looking for Ender Balls. He's gonna give me back the diamonds. Because this is a real apology right here. No, no Ender Balls. I'm gonna take these signs though. Because I got a plan for them. Oh, yes! That's what I do for keeping Ender Balls in my Ender Chest. Just fits. Alright. Come on. Oh, what do you know? Finally, a good throw. Okay. Let's get up. And let's start taking down our... No, let's not. What I need to do, though, is I need to actually lower that base one one go and which is bad because I just took down the one block that I could have done it from <sighs> sometimes I don't have a bucket of water sometimes I make myself angry it's okay so, yeah so so that's my work experience um, some of it enter was entertaining some of it was boring but you know that's life you know I hope that one day that I can get you know the job you know, a job where I'm excited every morning to go, and and it's not that I don't like what I do. I do, but I'm not. There's a difference between liking what you do and being excited about what you do. And I'm not excited about what I do, but I do. I do like my job, which is uh, more than a lot of people can say. So that's pretty. It's pretty convenient. All right. What I want to do for the rest of this to make it really personal is I don't have enough signs, but. We're going to leave signs on every block. It says, sorry, Ollie, I'm sorry. Sorry, Ollie. Let's see if I can fit sorry, Ollie, on two. With another sorry. No spaces. Sorry, Ollie. Sorry. Yes, I can. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tab out really quickly. I'm going to type that somewhere. I'm going to copy paste it and pray that I can copy paste on signs. I don't know if I can. Let's try it, please. No, you can't. Oh, this is going to change everything. We're going to get bored with this pretty quickly. So we're not going to end up doing all of this on camera. But this is what all the signs are going to say. And I'm hoping that my resolve will allow me to do this for every plank of this I'm sorry message. And, and, and maybe Arlie will still understand that we're really we're really sorry so, yeah maybe maybe we'll take another route and we'll just start we'll start leaving funny messages by the end yeah I could do that see as long as I'm gonna type so much I didn't mean it yeah okay so this is this is what we're gonna really Exclamation points are gonna get small on me. It's character limit. It's not even size limit. Real. All right. So this is what we're gonna do. And uh, this should be a little boring. So maybe I'll cut here. Actually, even though I wasn't going to. And uh, I don't know. I don't like the sign. So yeah. So I'll kind of cut here. I'm gonna. I'm gonna just do some more of the signs. I'll probably do some of them off. You know, most of them off camera because we get boring. But uh. Yeah, so I'll get back to you when I've got some more of the signs done. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, without the ability to copy paste, those sign making is really tedious. So instead of doing everything, we're just covering up the entire eye. Um, what I made you because I feel like you know it's not exactly what I wanted. Um, I may sign my name. It'll be small, but I think I'm gonna put like a little sign floating in the middle, just right in the middle here, because I like to sign all my stuff. So let's go right to the middle here come up to about yeah right about here take a sign right there there we go just love me because everybody loves me and we're done this actually episode actually was about 
it's a little longer than I was expecting, considering, you know, we didn't really do the signing. But, uh, but yeah, I think this is what we needed to do. Because, you know, Oliver and I were in the middle of a CTM. Uh, if you haven't checked that out yet, um, it's a ton of fun. Um, we're just starting to get into the good parts where it starts to get ridiculously difficult. <laughs> so go check that out if you haven't already. Um, but yeah, um, I actually, you know, last episode was so successful um, that I've actually stepped up my efforts for my next prank. Um, it, this one's going to require a lot more planning than than my last one, even though that one took, I mean, that, that that's saying something. I want you to really think about that for a minute. If this prank is going to take way more planning than my last prank, and my last prank took a ton of planning, just imagine what I must be doing and what it's going to be like, because I think it's going to be fantastic when we do it. So, yeah. But uh, I wonder what we... We got a good good reaction from the last video, but because of it, we sort of lost the track of no. What do we want to do next? I want to know what do you what do you guys want to see? What kind of interaction with the other guys? Obviously, everyone loves pranks, and believe me, I love them as much as you guys do. But other than pranks, you know, what what do you guys want to see as the next big project, the next next ideas, the, you know, stuff like that. So I'm really looking for some feedback on uh, where we're gonna go from here. Uh, but, and yeah, and uh, I also want to hear from you guys if you want to see more mini game stuff. I have a third episode of Quakecraft coming out uh, the next few days. Promise you, uh, some really good action. Uh, you get to see me in my pessimistic best. I go through a big pessimistic phase, um, partially unnecessarily because I actually played pretty well uh, in that episode. So I'm looking forward to that. But uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this little this little apology episode. Uh, I can't always be the bad guy. Gotta be the good guy sometimes. So last week was the bad guy. Today was the good guy. Um, I actually left Goon a couple presents in his in his base. So hopefully he'll be showing you that in his next episode. Um, but uh, really, I want to get this episode out because Goon's putting out a ton of videos. He's almost caught up with to me in number of minefields episodes put out and uh. Uh, th uh, this is my baby, this server. I'm not, I'm not giving away my title as most episodes easily. So, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, if you did, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you want to see. Uh, if you didn't like this episode or any episode, I'm going to start stressing this at the end of my videos. Please let me know in the comments. If you don't let me know, I can't improve. And I can't improve. I can't show you what you want to see. And I'm here for us it's not just me it's me and you together so please 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 if you enjoyed let me know why if you didn't enjoy definitely let me know why so uh, thanks so much for watching and i'll see you guys later